Determining a ship's draft is essential, as it provides critical information found in the stability manual. By referring to the hydrostatic table within the stability manual, the ship's displacement and other key values necessary for trim and stability calculations can be determined using the ship's draft. However, this draft is not the forward, midship, or aft draft. The draft required for these calculations is the true mean draft, or the hydrostatic draft. It is not simply a matter of adding the forward and aft drafts, and dividing the sum by two. Determining the true mean draft involves the following procedures. First, find the average of port and starboard drafts. This is applicable if there is a difference between the readings of port and starboard drafts, calculate their average. Second, apply the perpendicular corrections. Determine the draft at the forward and aft perpendiculars by applying the necessary corrections. Third, account for hull deflection. If the ship is experiencing hogging or sagging, corrections must be applied. And fourth, apply trim corrections. If the ship is not on an even keel, or if the longitudinal center of flotation, LCF, is not amidships, corrections are required, since these hydrostatic tables have been developed with the vessel floating on an even keel, means, zero trim. If any of these factors affect the ship, the appropriate corrections must be applied to accurately determine the true mean draft. Let's go through each of these procedures step by step, using the following scenario. The drafts provided in this scenario are observed drafts, meaning they were recorded during an actual draft reading. If you are not familiar with how to read draft marks, I have a separate video explaining the process, kindly check the link in the description below. In this case, the observed drafts differ slightly on both sides, with the starboard drafts being slightly greater than the port drafts. The first step in this case is to determine the average of port and starboard drafts by calculating the mean of forward, aft, and midship drafts using this formula. So port forward draft plus starboard forward draft divided by 2, the mean draft forward is 7.65 meters. Next, do the same for the aft draft. The mean draft aft is 9.18 meters. And also do the same for the midship draft. The mean draft midship is 8.45 meters. The difference between the mean of aft and forward drafts is called apparent trim or the observed trim, which is 1.53 meters by the stern. Let's proceed to the next step. Determine the drafts at the forward and aft perpendiculars. This time, we need the ship stability booklet. In the table of contents, find the draft marks information and draft correction. It can be found on pages 20 and 21. Let's go to pages 20 and 21. These are the vital information needed to determine our drafts at perpendiculars, and that includes this definition and formulae. To explain this in detail, let's have our model ship. In the illustration, we can see that the ship's forward perpendicular is here. Usually, it can be found when the ship's summer draft waterline intersects with the stem. The aft perpendicular is here, usually located at the rudder stock. The horizontal distance between perpendiculars is called length between perpendiculars, which is 137.0 meters. The forward draft marks are located here, and the distance from forward draft marks to forward perpendicular is 0.80 meter, marked with capital letter L, subscript with small letter F. Now if the aft draft marks are here, the distance from aft draft marks to aft perpendicular is 5.40 meters, marked with capital letter L, subscript with small letter A. The horizontal distance between draft marks is called length between draft marks, in which, in this case, 130.80 meters, marked with capital letter L, subscript with small letter D, 
but I prefer to use LBD. In the case of midship draft marks, no correction. In some manuals, this distance is called correction factors. At the aft, it is called aft correction factor. And in the forward, it is forward correction factor. Now, let's look at the formula for calculating the correction reading at draft marks, known as perpendicular correction. For the forward draft marks correction, this is the formula. Where small f is the forward perpendicular correction. LF is the distance from forward draft marks to forward perpendicular, known as the forward correction factor. TO is the observed trim or apparent trim. And LD means length between draft marks, but I prefer to use LBD. For the correction of draft reading at aft draft marks, instead of using forward correction factor, use the aft correction factor, the rest are the same. Using this formula, the forward perpendicular correction is 0 0.009 meter. And the aft perpendicular correction is 0 0.063 meter. The following symbols may differ from the existing symbols you have in your stability booklet, it's in your preferences which symbols to use. Since we have already calculated the perpendicular corrections, the next step is to apply these corrections to determine the drafts at perpendiculars. Let's check the rules for the draft corrections. This is the formula for determining the draft at forward perpendicular. Observed forward draft, plus or minus, forward perpendicular correction. The rule is to subtract the correction when the observed or apparent trim is by the stern. The draft at forward perpendicular is 7.641 meters. Now for the draft at aft perpendicular, it is the observed aft draft, plus or minus, aft perpendicular correction. The rule is to add the correction when the observed or apparent trim is by the stern. The draft at aft perpendicular is 9.243 meter. You can refer to these rules when applying the perpendicular corrections to the observed drafts. This is the rule used since the ship is trimmed by the stern. In the examination, if the stability booklet is not provided, the drafts at perpendiculars are usually given. Now, let's move on to the next step. Correction for hull deflection. Calculate the correction for hog and sag. Hogging is when the ship's midship part is lifted higher than the bow and stern, usually caused by excessive buoyancy amidships, or excessive weight at the ends. It can be determined if the ship's midship draft is less than the mean draft. On the other hand, sagging is when the ship's midship part is lower than the bow and stern, typically due to excessive weight amidships, or higher buoyancy at the ends. It can be determined if the ship's midship draft is greater than the mean draft. Let's determine if our ship is hogging or sagging. To determine the mean, we have forward observed draft plus aft observed draft divided by 2. The ship's mean draft is 8.415 meters. Now, if we compare our midship draft to mean draft, the midship draft is greater than the mean draft which means our ship is sagging. To calculate the ship's mean draft with hull deformation, the formula is mean of mean equals to draft at forward perpendicular plus draft at aft perpendicular plus the product of 6 and midship draft divided by 8. Looking at the formula, the sum of forward and aft draft divided by 8 is 1 fourth or 25% mean draft and 6 times midship draft divided by 8 is 3 fourth or 75% midship draft. So it means that the mean of mean is also the quarter mean draft. In this scenario, the mean of mean or quarter mean draft is 8.448 meters. This is the approximate midship draft allowing for hull deflection. Remember that drafts to be used in this calculation must be the drafts at perpendiculars. 
In the case of midship draft, where there is no correction, it is considered that this draft is in the amidship, and the observed midship draft will be used. How about this scenario in my previous video about draft survey calculation? The mean of mean and quarter mean draft were calculated separately. This is because we use different methods. If we calculate the scenario in my previous video using this formula, where these are the perpendicular drafts and the midship draft divided by 8, we got directly the quarter mean draft. So if we use this method, the mean of mean will also be our quarter mean draft. But if we use the method in my previous video, the mean of mean and quarter mean should be calculated separately, and remember that the mean of mean should be calculated first. Now, let's move on to the final step, calculating the true mean draft. While the quarter mean draft provides an approximate mean draft at or near midship, the true mean draft is located at the ship's longitudinal center of flotation, LCF. It is the most accurate representation of the ship's actual floating condition, as it accounts for perpendicular corrections, hull deflection, hogging or sagging, and trim corrections, making it essential for precise hydrostatic calculations. Longitudinal center of flotation is the geometric center of the ship's water plane area, and is the point along the ship's length where the vessel pivots when trimming. The true mean draft is always located at the longitudinal center of flotation. When the ship is floating on an even keel, wherever the position of LCF, the true mean draft is equal to quarter mean draft. If the ship is trimmed by either aft or forward, if the LCF is amidships, the true mean draft is also equal to quarter mean draft. But if LCF is not amidships, and the vessel is trimmed, true mean draft have different value, trim correction must be applied to determine the true mean draft. In our scenario, the ship's true trim is 1.602 meters by the stern. True trim is the difference between drafts forward and aft perpendicular. In this case, where the ship is trimmed, if the LCF is at amidships, the quarter mean draft is equal to true mean draft, so no need to apply trim correction, but if not, trim correction must be applied. Let's use our quarter mean draft to determine the position of LCF that can be found in the ship's hydrostatic table. The quarter mean draft is 8.448 meters. If we take the nearest which is 8.45 meters, the LCF is negative 0.05 meter. But if our quarter mean draft is 8.445, I go with negative 0.06 meter. The LCF stated in this table is the distance from amidships. If positive, the LCF is aft of amidships. If negative, the LCF is forward of amidships. In this case, the LCF is located 0.05 meter forward of amidships. When the ship's trim is minimal, this distance is often negligible. However, in this scenario, the LCF has been intentionally set farther from amidships to emphasize its effect. If the quarter mean draft is 8.490 meters, the LCF value in this table is zero, it indicates that the LCF is exactly at amidships. As I mentioned earlier, when the LCF is amidships, no correction is required, regardless of whether the ship is trimmed. Therefore, the quarter mean draft is also the true mean draft. But in our scenario, where the LCF is slightly forward of amidships, let's calculate the correction. This is the formula how to calculate the correction to determine the true mean draft. True trim times LCF divided by length between perpendiculars. The correction is 0.001 meter. The rules for applying the correction are add if the trim and LCF have the same directions. Subtract, if the trim and LCF have different directions. In our scenario, the trim is by the stern, 
and the LCF is forward of a midship. Both have different directions, so the correction will be subtracted. The true mean draft is 8.447 meters. This is the mean draft along the LCF, a very slight difference from the quarter mean draft because the LCF is almost amidships. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.